Scorpio. Scorpio, let's get into a general read for you guys today. I uh, apologize in the delay in getting this out. Um, there's going to be more delays coming just because I'll be back on the road shortly. Uh, that said, I'm still trying to get these up in a sort of normal schedule again. Now, last week I was quite sick and was unable to do these at all. I don't know what hit me, but it hit me out of nowhere and it just kind of blew my doors off. The um, things that were sitting with you right now in your current energy, there's a lot of uncertainty and you're really trying to work things out. We have the Two of Cups, the Moon, and the Seven of Cups. This just feels like somebody is just really trying to figure out what their options are, where do I go, how do I follow this path, what is the secret in going forward if this is such a difficult thing with the eight of coins now when we look to the desire there's a desire or a need to choose a path king of swords six of coins page of coins you either choose to go one way with the King of Swords and just focus on you. You either go to the Page of Coins and learn how to give to a situation. So this may be popping up. I get this is part of the current energy is just where do you put, oh, that's too many cards. Where do you put those energies? Where do you put those energies in order to, um, maximize your gains now for some of you somebody may even just be there's a choice to make here but with the king of swords somebody may be critical that you're not giving back to them now they may need to learn something or you may need to learn how to do that as well so we have the knight of coins and three of coins this is the outcome you're just going to keep doing what you're doing Eight of Wands, the Hermit, the Empress. It's like you're going to just keep doing what you're doing, following the same path, and not really make any waves. But when somebody withdraws this Empress energy, there comes a lot of messages. For some of you, it may be that messages come or things start and there's a withdrawal in order to understand what's going on. In order to emerge into this Empress energy, that energy of... Um, where this connection becomes more benef more beneficial is that the right word it's more beneficial that's what i have for now um <clears throat> we're going to keep going so the what's working for you is there going to become a realization some of your beliefs are going to be shattered around this around what you think a relationship is with the Ace of Wands, the Emperor, and the Six of Wands, once the shattering happens, the Ace of Wands gives you that opportunity in, to do something new, something that maybe you've never done before. You may be a little resistant to it, but there's a lot of success here. This could also be that there's a lot of ambition to change and really embrace what's going on. So we do have the Emperor and the Empress on the table. What you need to be aware of is looking at, we have the Three of Wands, the Ten of Cups, Seven of Wands, Hierophant, King of Wands, and the World. For some of you, you really need to look to a future with this. What 
really do you want in your future with the Ten of Cups here? How do you want this to materialize for you? How do you want to remove the obstacles that's within this relationship so that you can really turn up the heat and have a lot of success with it? King of Coins, okay. Seven of Coins, Knight of Swords, Hangman, Ace of Cups, King of Coins, Seven of Coins. For some of you, this King of Coins and the Seven of Coins, followed by the Knight of Swords. You may be feeling super successful and very optimistic about your future. And I see the fire here and the Knight of Swords. Whoever this is, this King of Coins, can be looking to the future and is taking action towards it. What you need to do is reevaluate whoever this is. Uh, Taurus is, all three Taurus cards are here on the table. So for some of you, you may be involved with the Taurus. You need to reevaluate what you term as love. Is the security of the future, the security of the future that is created causing you to rethink things about love and are starting to move forward with it. So it's kind of a convoluted reading. It's interesting, but it's still a little convoluted. Let's see, what, what else can we get? Let's get three more cards. One, four of coins, six of swords, three of cups. Don't hold back when it comes to this connection. Um, you're holding back in that somebody's row in the boat and it's not you. You're holding back on participating in that. But once you join, things go forward and you start to learn about a few things, <clears throat> even though you may really still be indecisive about the direction you want to go in. So it still seems that in some way, you're just still stuck. You're holding back from moving forward. Even with the reconnection with somebody. You know, you may be thinking about other things and you're trying to disregard it. It might cause you a little bit of like, eh, okay. But it just seems like you're kind of brushing it away. But that's what I have for you today, Scorpio. Weird read again. Uh, energies have been off all over the place. Um, so that's what I have for you today. Best of luck this week. We'll see you next time. Stay safe.